hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I am going to start a new series beginners to professional for Microsoft Azure and it's cloud platform supported by Microsoft so we will talk on this and uh, you can uh, check it out the details of uh, uh, upcoming videos in the description box so the next video link is already in the description box as well as uh, you can see the entire play playlist so you can check it out the entire playlist for Microsoft videos Azure that is still in your uh, description box you can get it from there okay so let's start with the, the video and uh, see what we are going to cover it so in the Microsoft Azure what we have uh, Microsoft Azure is a cloud platform that is offering more than 200 type of products and the cloud services those are hosted in the Microsoft data center like entire cloud platform infrastructure is managed by Microsoft you can build you or deploy or manage services as well as application over the cloud or over the Microsoft platform infrastructure you need not to worry about the infrastructure management you have to just deploy the services virtual machines applications whatever you want and offered by the Azure so if we talk about the cloud computing and Microsoft Azure so Microsoft Azure is one of the cloud computing uh, platform so what exactly it is let me just quickly move ahead so if we talk about the cloud computing so what exactly the cloud computing is so first we are just going to take a look on this uh, short brief how it's uh, going to work or how it's uh, working on uh, in the cloud structure so if we talk about the cloud platform so first we have a characteristics what exactly the characteristics if we talk about cloud platform the on-demand and the self-service so all the cloud uh, platforms would be available as per your requirement that would be considered as an on-demand whenever you require you can use a, a cloud structure and it's ready to use you need not to plan everything like in the normal traditional environment if we talk about you have to deploy a server physical infrastructure storage power management everything here you need not to worry about all these things it's ready to go so you can quickly build your resources whenever you want or you can quickly deploy your resources or applications okay and the broad access of uh, network yes uh, cloud is accessible from anywhere in the entire world you can access it from easily in your local corporate network as well as from the internet wherever you want you can put it resource can be integrated with each other and as a backend they have an, a pool of resources so uh, it's not uh, too worried about the hardware considerations or any high availability or single point of failure or anything like that we have a rapid elasticity available the functionality as in cloud that means the dynamically allocation of the resources from the pool in the backend so this is also in a cloud like we have a 10 physical servers running and that are hosting a cloud so as an end user end user is getting 50 machines or something and those are managed in the back end of the cloud section so you need not to worry about the back end structure uh, the data center management team monitor all these things and accordingly they provision the resource whenever it's required so as an end user for the cloud services you need not to worry about this they can uh, that's what they are measuring your usage and according to usage you have to uh, pay uh, or you have, you will be charged for as a part of billing purpose like if you are using a one machine you are charged for the one machine only and that would be totally depend on the size of machine so kind of things are there like if you have an, a specific application so they Microsoft or any cloud service provider they charge as per their uh, as per their charges or as per billings, billing cycle for the specific service it's not for the entire infrastructure charges or something like that if we talk about the cloud uh, computing cloud computing could be as a form of private public or a hybrid cloud a public cloud is something that is offered by the public service provider and it's open to delivery in the entire world the 
private cloud is a type of cloud that is similar to public but it's built by an organization and that is only for the internal use or it's only limited to organization or one or two so it it is known as a private cloud when the uh, cloud services are limited to a specific organization or a specific boundary it's not openly available or publicly available to everyone we have an hybrid model also when the public and the private clouds mixed and it's obtaining uh, resources at the both locations for example one organization have their own private cloud but they have integrated uh, with the public cloud like with azure or with aws or ibm cloud or anywhere so or google cloud so in those scenarios it's considered as a, a hybrid cloud when the public and the private work together and uh, offer some services if we talk about uh, in the categorization of the services that offered in the cloud uh, structure so cloud services are mostly offered in three terms or categorized in the three uh, three categories the one is the SaaS, that is software as a service and the one is PaaS, that is platform as a service and the last one is infrastructure as a service in the SaaS, what exactly happened? It's a fully formed software application you are getting and it's delivered through a cloud-based service. For example, Office 365. Like you are getting our Skype for Business, Teams, so Exchange in the cloud, like Exchange mailboxes. So these are the services that you are getting as a complete end-to-end -end solution. You need not to build anything. You have to just log in, just administer the things and you can start using their services. So that consider as a software as a service. When you will be getting a, a platform as a service. So in that scenario, you will be getting a resource, but you have to develop their own solution. You can deploy uh, as per your application, your softwares, your programs, everything. So like you have deployed, uh, deployed a built a mobile app and you are going to deploy that mobile app. You are going to build a website and you are going to deploy that website so kind of things that when the developer team worked and they deploy it over a cloud it's considered as a platform as a service where the hosting you will be getting and as servers configuration everything ready you need not to worry about that but you have to just deploy your codes over there the third part is the infrastructure as a service and here you will be getting everything apart from the hardware like you will be getting complete virtual virtual machine running on the server where you can install your os whatever os you want like windows like linux or anything uh, supported operating system so this will be considered as a infrastructure as a service in this you can uh, use uh, the particular vms or a service uh, servers and you can deploy your OS, you deploy your applications, whatever you want. You can use that server as an in, uh, server like it's placed in your environment or in your infrastructure. So this is what all about the services that offered in the cloud uh, categorization. If we talk about, we will continue in the next uh, video uh, regarding talking about this. Uh, so that's all in this video because I just wanted to keep the videos in the short and we will continue in uh, Next video so you can get the link. It's available in my description box. You can continue it from there Thank you as of now. We'll continue it from here once again. Thanks